The campaign season is here, and your vote can make a difference. Comcast brings you the candidates on demand right now. I'm Jill Horner, and this is Candidates on Demand. With me is Kenneth Cody. He is an independent candidate for the United States House of Representatives for New Jersey's 12th Congressional District. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, thanks for having me. Let's talk a little bit about your background. You currently work for a nonprofit. Right. I work for a company called Learning Ally, and we rec make recordings for blind and dyslexic members. And it's a very good organization, and it's helpful for many members of the community. Let's talk a little bit about why you are running for Congress. You've run in the past. Why are you running now? Well, Congress is still broken. A uh, recent poll came out said only 20% of Americans believe that our Congress is working well in, in Congress. Um, that number is way too low. And what I want to do in Congress is bring bipartisanship towards it. And that's the key, because both political parties, Republicans and Democrats, just work for, it seems like they work for their own party, not for the American people. And as an independent candidate, I feel I could bridge the gap between that and bring, because I have no political ties to either, either uh, main party. So I intend to work when elected with both um, parties. In addition to that, you say campaign finance reform is something that you would work toward. Why do you feel that that would be an important step, and what changes would you want to see happen, and what difference do you think that that would make? Well, campaign finance reform is important because I'm making a statement because I'm not accepting any monetary contributions when I run. None at all. None at all. Um, I feel it's a statement for Washington that we spend way too much money in politics and campaigning. In 2010, over $1 billion was raised by congressional candidates for the elections. And that money is too much money. We need strict campaign finance reform. And what that will do, it will make for fairer elections. And just think, that billion dollars could have went to education reform, could have went to helping the homeless, it could have went to organizations that really need the money instead, instead of politicians, because we don't know where the money will go to at the end. There's no disclosure. Um, about it. So I think we need to seek strict campaign finance reform, and in Congress, I'm going to fight for that. So while you're not necessarily asking for candidates to do as you've done, to right. not accept contributions at all, you're asking for additional disclosure or different types of disclosure. Right. You're asking for potentially ref uh, to have additional reforms in place. Correct. Uh, I think what we need to do is set limits for every election, from the local election all the way up to the presidency. There should be a cap on every what you can spend, what you uh, can raise. So it makes for fair elections and lets other political parties be more part of the process, like the Green Party or the Libertarian Party, for example. In addition to that, you say clean energy could be a means to create additional jobs. How so, and what options are you looking toward in terms of clean energy? Well, clean energy is something I'd support in Congress because it will create millions and millions of jobs. The infrastructure to grow, natural gas, um, oil, I mean, not oil, excuse me. Uh, do you have... Um, um, Different types of clean energy. Right. Uh, clean energy, wind, solar energy. That will create more jobs, the infrastructure to build that all across the country. Millions and millions of jobs. And what that will do is lower unemployment, and also that will make our air cleaner for the environment. So it's a win winning situation all around. And what role would the government play, and you as a potential elected official play, in working to grow clean energy? Well, we have to support it, get the message out, tell the American people what clean energy will do, and it will make for a better America. We have the technology to do it, and we got to remember, oil heats the dinosaur. It's old, old energy, so let's focus on the clean energy, and it will be great for our future generations to come. And uh, we just have a short time left, but you are running as a third-party candidate, as an independent candidate. Why should people vote for you in this election? Well, again, if you're fed up with both political parties, the main parties, Republicans and Democrats, who tend to work with uh, their own, or support their own issues, um, f promote themselves, not the American people, I would ask for the, your vote, because I feel I could be, I could bridge the gap between both parties, and it would be um, a voice in Washington to, um, change America. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. We've been talking with Kenneth Cody. He's an independent candidate for the United States House of Representatives for New Jersey's 12th Congressional District. I'm Jill Horner.